Hey guys, I'm Claire. And I'm Mikkel. We're from Council 16, and today we're going to be talking to you guys about social media and how you can use it at your school to publicize for your events. So we're going to interview some Cata campers and ask them how they utilize social media to their benefit. Hey, let's go find out. Hey guys, I'm here with Ben, and he's going to tell us how he uses social media at his high school. Hi, I'm from Glendora, and we use Instagram as a big part of informing our students on upcoming events. For example, we use posting to update about incoming events in the future, and then we use the story feature to just give some quick updates, and then occasionally we'll use the live feed during the events just to show what the students are missing out on. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. So some of you guys watching this video might not know where to make your social media graphics, as Ben said in the last clip. So I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use the app Fonto. It's a very easy, beginner-friendly app to make graphics on Instagram. Let's get started. So for this example, we're going to be using Hawaiian Day. So I just typed up Hawaiian print. And you can just look around and see what type of flowers you like. Or you can choose like a hula girl, like Moana or something. As you can see, I'm just scrolling and just trying to find something I like. So I'm gonna choose this blue one. Save it to my camera roll. After this, I'm gonna open the app Fonto, and I'm gonna select it out of my recent photos. Then we're gonna click add text, and we're gonna write all the things that we need to say. So we're gonna write the name of our Spirit Day, which is Hawaiian Day, what everyone has to do, which is obviously wear Hawaiian gear. Then we are going to be writing the date that it's on because that's very important so people know when to dress up. And for the sake of it, we're just going to pretend we have a Spirit Week name and I chose Around the World. And there are many different font options, so you can keep it fresh each time you have a new graphic. The options are pretty much endless here. Just choose one that's not too cursive, so people can actually read it. And we chose a blackout. And you can always fix the size during this process. And right now we're adding some color to our words so they pop and stand out. Then we're going to go over to style and then we're going to click this button to have an overshadowing effect on it. We're going to move the X. And so that's how you get that. We're going to play with the size some more. For Hawaiian, we're going to do the same exact thing. And for wear Hawaiian as well. If you have any questions or anything, just pause the video and you'll probably see like where I click during the screen recording. And now we're going to be writing some incentives so your students can become more encouraged to dress up if they know why should they. Like examples are to earn spirit points for your class, to earn candy, to earn cookies at lunch, get five star points, things like that. And now we're changing it to white or any other color you want to, whatever fits. And now we're changing the font so it matches the Spirit Week font. I like to have two different types of fonts on mine so there's a bit of a contrast.
in my opinion it's just more appealing to have like different sizes different fonts so people don't get bored of like the same thing on a social media page and yeah save it and we are done thanks guys this is ben telling you not to forget to smash that like button don't forget to comment and subscribe this is Claire from Council 16, signing off.